Ah, uh, Katamari Forever is my happy place. Ever since we love Katamari on PS2, I've had a fond attachment to this series, and every time I find myself recovering from a depressive wreck, or getting my wisdom teeth taken out, or getting back from a week in the hospital due to a now permanently wrecked pancreas triggering muscle loss, I can get better by playing all the way through Katamari Forever again and again. And that's saying a lot, because typically I hate replaying games. There's only a handful that I can really get back into a second or eighth time. There is nothing that I don't love about these games, and the cousins are of course included in that. I think Peso is my favorite. And hey, I've explained the names of all the Pokemon and all the Animal Crossing villagers, so let's, let's, let's do another big group of video game characters. All of the Katamari cousins. Why are their names what they are? Is there a reason beyond it's silly? Let's find out. <laughs> In the original Katamari Damacy, we meet the prince, the main protagonist, named the prince because he is a prince. His parents are the queen and King Cosmos, named that because he is the king of the cosmos. So that's easy stuff. Throughout the game, you meet many more of his family members, cousins of various shapes and sizes, like Peso, with his more spherical, raindrop-shaped head. So, I knew that Peso is a currency used in Mexico, but it turns out it's actually used all over America due to its connection with Spain. The Peso was originally a Spanish currency, which is also why it's used in the Philippines. Hey, look, look at this map. America, Spain, and the Philippines, of all things. A Spanish peso was originally just a silver coin, a piece of eight, and that silver color may be why peso is named peso. Fumin has a U-shaped skull, and her brain is split in half. How disturbing. She can use it as a magnet, though, so that's cool. Fumin is described as having a sexy personality, though also not very smart. Hmm. And according to Keita Takahashi, the creator of Katamari, she's named after Fumi Hosokawa, a Japanese model who goes by her nickname, Fumin. Huh. And while still, kind of weird, uh, at least she's not named this because her head looks like a Fu Manchu. Fujio is easy, I mean look at him. His head's shape and color match Mount Fuji, the most famous volcano in Japan. And also, in a lot of the games you find him at the top of Mount Fuji, or just amongst mountains. Kuro is a big fan of Japanese superheroes. In Katamari, it's Jumbo Man, a reference to Ultraman and other such shows. He's also a little edgelord, making his name fitting, as it means black in Japanese. Marcy is all about fashion and is very temperamental. She can never choose what color to wear, so she wears all of them. The name Marcy is the feminine form of Marcus and is associated with Mars, the Roman god of war, which uh, I guess fits her temperament. She gets angry. Uh. Jungle is super cool. His texture is pulled from the game screen as a form of camouflage, and he's really into photography, hide and seek, and going on trips. You know, Jungle and forest-esque camouflage is pretty common, especially for nature photographers, on their trips. Nick, a chunky cousin who gets all of his energy from eating. Wait, is that not the norm for these things? So the name Nick means victory of the people, which I'm not sure of. Unless it's referencing how he wins competitive eating competitions, which gets mentioned a few times when picking him up. So it could be that. And that is also fitting with Nick being a very, very generic American name. This is an extremely Japanese game after all, and well, American stereotypes, especially in Japan. We're fat, we eat a lot, and have names like Nick. Oh, and Niku, how you would likely pronounce this name in Japanese, as a name means Ray of Sun. And well, he's big, round, and yellow, so there's that. Odeko is very tall, vain, and smart, and his name just means forehead in Japanese, which he certainly has a lot of. It may even be a five head. Shikao traveled to Earth to watch Earthling television, and even has a square TV-esque head. He may be named after Shikao Suga, who, at the time of Katamari Damacy's creation, was a huge star, an actor and J-pop singer, and is most known as the voice behind so many anime openings. So, you know, TV star? It could work. Also, she means four, and Kao means face. And Shikao's face is a cube so it's made up of a bunch of four-sided shapes. Honey is a clumsy little pink lady, and she can do this. How disturbing. She's described as being sweet-smelling and is asked to glaze tea cakes. Plus, her head is kind of shaped like honey stir bars, so I'm pretty sure she's just named after honey, the bee puke. Marnie is a bouncing baby boy who loves scuba diving, and he's not actually a blood relative. Hmm. The name Marnie with a Y means rejoice, but swap the Y for an I and it means marina, meaning of the sea. 
So that's fitting. Velvet is sort of UFO themed. She's very haughty and very feminine. I mean, she does this. And this. Uh, how disturbing. Velvet is a very fancy fabric, and most commonly red or purple. It's very associated with royalty, just like the color purple too, due to reasons that I explain in this Assassin's Creed video. But all of this is fitting of her personality, being very haughty. Nickel is a robot, and nickel is a type of metal, one that gets used in robots and computers, I might add. Ace is a vain, competitive jock, and an ace is someone really good at their thing, most commonly a sport. It's perfect. OPEO is injured and bandaged up all the time. Notably, the OPEO is the Office of Preparedness and Emergency Operations in the US, but also OPE is just medical operation in Japanese. Columbo is covered head to toe with super thick body hair, but he is very hygienic and well kept. His girlfriend wears a wig out of it. How disturbing. The name Columbo and Columbus are Italian and mean dove. Notably, Italians are stereotypically extremely hairy. Just, just body hair everywhere. And Columbo here loves animals. More than half of the time you find him riding on one. He even embeds himself into the back of an elephant. How disturbing. Also, the name sort of has the word comb in it. So there's that. Ichigo means strawberry in Japanese. And Ichigo loves strawberries. This is La La La. She is a very tan exhibitionist. Yes, a nudist. Which makes her being chased by these Boy Scouts kind of disturbing. The name is easy though, it's based on the saying, ooh la la, when you see someone sexy. Havana is a very, very wide dude. He's self-conscious about how wide his head is, but the name. A Havana is a Cuban cigar, which are known for their size, and also is the name of the capital of Cuba. Cuba being an extremely wide country. Johnson is described as a weird oblong thing and as something pointy, something bossy. And well, he's this. The name Johnson means son of John. No, really. But it also means God is gracious. Oh yes, so gracious that he blessed Johnson with a head that can do this. How disturbing. Uh, uh, did I mention that Johnson has also been a euphemism for penis since the 1860s? June loves the sky, loves clouds, and absolutely loves the rain. Not coincidentally, June is the rainiest month in Japan. Today I learned. Miso! Does you function like the Kool-Aid man? How does having a brain made of open liquid work? Does she get dumber as it spills? Does refilling it solve the problems? How disturbing. Well, she's a bowl of miso soup, so the name is easy. Dip lives for attention, which is why he's so sparkly and flashy. His biggest pleasure is going clubbing, which may relate to the name. Dip is slang for one night standing, which is associated with both clubbing and attention seekers. But also calling someone a dip is an insult to their intelligence, usually because they are wrong a lot of the time and they tend to be loud about it. Baka Aho Dipu. And those were all of the cousins in the first game. In the second game, We Love Katamari, we are introduced to a number of second cousins. And here they are. Beyond is described as banana shaped, and that's one word for it. He's a vegetarian too, and he wouldn't let me not tell you that. Perhaps Beyond feels superior due to the stereotypical vegan attitude. I am wise beyond others. Or maybe it's a reference to space, as he's shaped like a crescent moon. Space is also referred to as the great beyond in some media. At one point Beyond does get asked to close a wormhole. So there's that. Uh, there's also Beyond Meat, the vegetarian meat. Alternative? Can Can, or Con Con, is a stubborn one. If he disagrees with you, he'll rotate his head so fast that the friction causes it to catch fire. Perhaps then his candle-like shape is purposeful. So a Can Can is a dance involving lots of high kicks. It's very physically demanding. And this cousin is referred to as weedy and scrawny, so I don't think that's it. Uh, rather, it could refer to him being a candle, but also Con Con in Japanese means anger to flare up as well as intense heat. So I'm pretty convinced it's that. Daisy is a furry that got a little too into the role play. <laughs> She's gained the ability to shoot milk out of her feet. 
How disturbing. Well, Daisy is a stereotypical cow name, like dogs with Spot and Biscuit. Drooby is probably the strangest one. Uh, hmm. She's an engineer and does drilling work, both with her drill and her mysterious orbs. How disturbing. Interestingly, she is one of the very few cousins to have a different name between the Japanese and English versions. In Japan, her name is Boss but the name Drooby could very well just be a combination of drill and booby. Huey is a timid and talented cousin. He can do cartwheels without arms due to his Y-shaped head. He also does not have knees. That is canon. He has lacked knees since birth. He loves kids and is super cheery. His face lights up when you compliment him. This fits his name, as the name Huey means bright in mind and spirit, or good-souled. Kinoko is a mushroom. She doesn't move much because when she does, she kicks up a lot of dust and people don't like that. Though maybe her not moving is why she's covered in dust. Hmm. Well, her name is just mushroom in Japanese. L'amour is just, it's just love in French. And I mean, a heart covered caterpillar who makes romantic moaning sounds. Yeah. Lucha is a little luchador. Macho is a very manly little man, a muscular macho man. That's what macho means. Miki, as a Japanese name, means beautiful chronicle. A chronicle is described as a factual written account of important or historical events in the order of their occurrence, or to record in a factual and detailed way. And Miki is all about being in the top three of anything. And so she always has to keep a detailed record of who's the best at different things, a ranked chronicle, you could say. Though that also relates to another meaning of the name Miki, which is beautiful and noble, or another beautiful hope. All work pretty well though, but there's also beautiful tree. Uh, Japanese is such an interesting language, right? Natsuo is shaped like a peanut and loves to go swimming, which perfectly makes the name a pun. Natsuo is Japanese for summer life, which involves a lot of swimming. Swap a letter and now it's Natsuo because not. Odeon is jittery and unpredictable. Weird and lumpy, malformed, misshapen, and he can do this. Ah, uh, how disturbing. An Odeon is a place built for singing, much like an amphitheater. It's also where the word Nickelodeon eventually came from, and I guess the TV network of the same name was big and weird and disturbing all at the time of this character's creation. <laughs> But I don't know about this one. Well, uh, Dionysus is the Roman god of wine and revelry. Then the prefix all in Japanese can be added to things to mean that they are big or there's a lot of it. So, uh, you'd need a lot of drunken revelry to come up with or ex exist as this guy. <laughs> uh, quite unpredictable because he's drunk. Oh. Shy is shy hiding her face in a hoodie. And Signolo is a traffic signal. Slip is just a flat copy of the prince who can slip by undetected or slip under doors and such. Twinkle is a star because twinkle, twinkle, little star. Here's his family, they are weird. Uh, so good to end on a bunch of easy ones. So next game, me and my Katamari added more cousins called rookies this time around for some reason. So let's do those. Nai Nai is probably the most important cousin. She's a box, and inside that box is the universe. Not like some other universe, but like actually our very own universe. Space time can suck it. It's that one episode of Futurama where they put the universe in a box but a cousin. And also, uh, so she's the colors of the Bandai Namco logo, the company behind Katamari, and her name, Nai Nai Bandai Namco. Huh? She contains the entire universe? Like Bandai Namco and all their franchises? Could be that. Maybe it's just baby talk for good night. Night night, Nai Nai, because the universe is the night sky, you know? Moo shares his name with the Lost Continent, and he's totally covered in black besides these four white dots. He's shy and bad at making friends, but he always keeps his promises. In Japanese, Moo means nothing. As in it means nothing. The word nothing. Not. Zilch. Nada. And thus, these dots may resemble silence. Not saying anything. Dot dot dot. Moo. M-U is also the first two letters of mute. Norn is an odd one. He is sensitive to the cold because he is always cold himself, but he likes goldfish. 
Well, the name Norn is Scandinavian, and it is pretty cold up there. And as a name, it means fate. Interestingly enough, goldfish are pretty similar to koi, and in Chinese mythology, koi are often symbols of destiny. So fate. But they didn't want Norn to be too cool and have koi, so they just gave him kind of a lame thing in comparison. He's a goldfish. Paula is a three-year-old girl who looks like a pink flower. The name Paula has a few different meanings, from humble to small and beautiful, all fitting enough. So, uh, Pockle is interesting. He looks nothing like the other cousins, right? And that's because he isn't. He is a prince from a unspecified magical country, but he made so many friends among the cousins that he forgot to go home. And now here he is. The name could come from the Japanese onomatopoetic phrase Pokin Pokin, which happens to be where the popular snack Pocky got its name from. It's the sound made when a biscuit or cookie snaps. Pockle, then, being a sort of generic magical elf thing, makes it akin to other such magical elves like, say, the Keebler Elves, or Snap, Crackle, and Pop. All fitting of the onomatopoeia. Kenta is the prince, but a centaur. As a name, Kenta is Japanese and means big, thick, healthy, and strong. All wonderful traits for a horse. Also, centaur, kentar, kenta, yeah. Hans has a bowl of rice for a head. Hans, as a name, is Scandinavian mainly, and it means God is gracious, or a gift from God. Uh, okay. Uh, but if you remove the S, Han is a name in Japanese, which means sail or companion. It could also be short for Hansshu, meaning feudal lord, as rice was the foundation of Japanese society for centuries during its feudal age. Oh, and also Gohan is rice in Japanese, so there you go. And Ban Ban, or Bon Bon, is a donut. He loves sweets, and he's proud of his spinning levitation moves. Bon Bon in Japanese means to the full amount, or very much, entirely. Oh god, is it because he's tire-shaped entirely? No, it can't be that. No, no, no. Uh, but it's also an onomatopoeia. It's the sound of gunfire. Oh, like how in cartoons a character will get shot and then they have a hole in them that just leaks water? Hmm, maybe him liking sweets is a reference to bonbons. Oh well. Next game, beautiful Katamari added a few half-cousins. Let's go over them. The princess. Take a guess. Well, it's also mentioned that her real name is Zara, which is Russian for princess. Kyun is a model. As a mimetic word, in Japanese, it's used to describe one's heart compressing, as in when one falls in love or sees something extremely cute. Also, her description mentions she aspires to become a top model. And in Japanese, Q is used for ranking systems, such as what belt you have in martial arts or what place you came in the shogi competition. Ryu is straight up a ninja. Maybe a reference to Ryu Hayabusa of Ninja Gaiden? Or maybe it's just an incredibly common name for ninjas and other martial artists like Ryu and Ryu and Ryu. Is this just all because Ryu means dragon in Japanese? And also Ryu refers to a school of thought or a means of self-discipline. The thing you do to train to become a master martial artist or a master ninja is Ryu. So they're named Ryu. <laughs> Harvest is a tomboy with a head shaped like an apple. Do you know how to get apples from the trees to the market? You harvest them. Kunihiro is a country boy who loves going on rides and doesn't wear a shirt. Aren't all of these things synonymous? Well, his name means is country, is wide, or tolerant of large amounts of land. Which works with his description as a country guy, I suppose. Mag has a head that's an LCD screen that shows Pac-Man things happening. The name Mag means pearl, and you do find her out in the middle of the ocean, so maybe that. But uh, in tech, an MAG is a managed access gateway, which is like a login screen. It's definitely not that. Uh, is it because she's magnetic? Magnets ruin LCD screens, right? Perhaps. Uh, maybe if we break the name down. Ma in Japanese is space, or empty, or pause, the space between edges. Perhaps like the space between pixels on an LCD screen, or pause because you can pause games. And then gu can mean tool, ingredient, or armor, or perhaps it's go, meaning midnight, time, after. Could the whole name mean paused time because Pac-Man is an old game? It is a classic. It is locked in its old time because every time it tries to go 3D or have a TV show or something, people hate it, and they just go back to classic Pac-Man again because it is perfect. Maybe. Pu 
Blue is an all green, not a baby, with a leaf instead of an antenna. She's often mistaken for a baby. As a name, Poo is Chinese and refers to long pond grass, like cattail grass. P.U. also means something stinky, possibly reflecting her babiness and showing the belly button with a rounder lower body. It's all baby traits. Notably, the king calls her Poo de Lu, like Poo the Lu. Sherman is a snowman. As a name, Sherman means a man who shears sheep. And sheep are also white balls of fluff. Maybe Sherman isn't actually a snowman, it is actually like a sheep person that pretends to be a snowman. I don't know. The name Sherman is close to snowman, you know? Man, man, sure, snow. And, okay, last two. Katamari Forever only added two cousins, and they are Dangle and Drive. Drive is a tuk-tuk driving around, and Dangle is always dangling. That is all. Now, there are apparently some other cousins in the webcomic and one in the Namco dating sim. There's a Namco dating sim? That sounds amazingly stupid, and I love it. And there's also some Korean exclusive ones in the MMO. Wait, there's a Katamari MMO? But it's exclusively in Korea? Huh. No, but that's it. Those are all of the cousins in the mainline games. I'd love to do another video or two about Katamari. What do you think? And who are your favorite and or most relatable cousins? Let me know below, and until next time, never stop using your noggin.